higher you build your barriers The taller I become The more that you take my rights away inside so strong I know that I can't take it You were me wrong so wrong I thought that my pride was gone Oh no Something inside so strong Oh no, no. Something inside so strong The more you refuse to hear my voice louder I will sing you have behind your walls of Jericho your lights will come tumbling then I'm a blessing time you squander wealth that's mine my light will shine so brightly it will blind you a Deputy Returning Officer for the Belfast West constituency hereby declare that at the election the number of votes for each candidate was as follows. Alex Atwood, SDLP, Social Democratic and Labour Party, 3,088, 3,088. Jerry Carroll, People Before Profit Alliance, 1,751. 1751. Brian Kingston, Democratic Unionist Party, DUP, 1,393. 1393. Bill Manwaring, Ulster Unionist Party, 386. 386. Paul Maskey, Sinn Féin, 16,200. Alliance, 122. 1, 2, 2. I therefore declare that Paul Maskey is returned to serve in Parliament for the Belfast West constituency. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, when they insist we're just not good enough. Well, thank God that's over. For me, the it's a great privilege and a great pleasure for myself to be standing here elected for the West Belfast constituency, elected by the people of West Belfast. I think it's a great honour and something that I will cherish. I'd also like to thank Patricia, my wife who has stuck by me thick and thin to, because each and every single one of us, the activists within Sinn Féin, because that's exactly what we are, we are all activists, have been wrapping doors for the last nine months. We have wrapped every single door throughout our constituency. And I think that's a tremendous, tremendous workload from all of our activists who have wrapped them doors tirelessly through snow and bad weather and all coming up to the Christmas time and afterwards. This is not Paul Maskey's seat. This is the people of West Belfast seat. People have voted again. Shortly after five weeks ago, a gruelling campaign and a gruelling election campaign where people had to come out and fought three times five weeks ago. Some people were telling me it was enough to put them off elections for life, but there you go, but the lack of office can take that up later. What I'd have to say is that I think there for our assembly seat we had 66% of the vote. We have now increased that to over 70%. And I think a big bull of bus to the people of West Belfast for doing that. Gordon Milan Adam.
All of us have worked very hard for this, and all of us will continue to work very hard. I want to be an MP who represents each and every single constituent in West Belfast. I want to be working in the Shankill, I want to be working on the Suffolk Road and the Blacks Road, on Bala Murphy Road, and Anderson Town Road, in Twinbrook, in the Collin area, and in the Lower Falls. And I think that's something that I want to do. And I want to say to the other five candidates who stood in this election, I want to work with you as well. I want to work together with each and every single one of you. And I want to make Belfast a place that people have prayed in. Because West Belfast is a very proud part of this city where a third of the citizens of this city live in that constituency. And I think again where they've come out and showed their support. Jerry Adams was the MP for many years. And Jerry Adams worked tirelessly for West Belfast, where we have now seen investment opportunities coming into the rest of the city. But I was down to lobbying from people like Jerry Adams and ourselves for doing it. And we will never forget that. And we want to see that investment opportunities growing in the future, because that's what the people of West Belfast deserve. West Belfast was treated very shabbily by direct route ministers for many years. Them days are over. We are working together. We are moving in the right direction. The investment opportunities are. Let's go out and create the jobs for people of this city. Let's go out and create the jobs for people of West Belfast. And let every single person in West Belfast be proud because this is their seat. And I will work in every single part of this area. Again, a big thank you to all my family. My own father, I'm sure, is looking down on me tonight and being very proud. Somebody said to me yesterday that he'd be looking down and he'd be doing a jig up in heaven. Well, da, we're there, we're moving forward in the right direction, and here's where we're going. We are going, we are Republicans, I'm certainly a Republican, but I will put my hand out to each and every single constituent in West Belfast. So folks, we are working together, we're moving in the right direction, and here's the thing, is that the West Belfast people are a very proud people, and we're with them, and we will work forever for them. So Gorla Mila, Mila, Mila Mayagov. Brilliant, a good, good victory for Paul Maskey and Patricia and the whole Maskey clan and I congratulate them. Paul's a, an exemplary representative. Uh, I think our team once again delivered and uh, it's a tremendous community. I was very, very honoured to represent West Belfast and I think we're now going to have a, a better MP uh, and we're into a new phase of politics and Paul will stamp his own mark on all of that. So well done to everybody who voted for us and to our team and particularly to our new MP. Surely a very proud evening for the Maskey household. Over 70% of the vote. How are you feeling? Look, I think it's tremendous. I mean, I was saying to Jerry early on, or Andy Paul, that Jerry first won this seat for Sinn Féin in, uh, in 1983 on the 9th of June. So here we are again, so many years later on the 9th of June, and Paul Maskey wins the seat on behalf of Sinn Féin. I think it's a great endorsement for him personally, but it's also a tremendous endorsement for the party because over all of these years, despite all of the issues and the difficulties and challenges that people in West Belfast have had to face and endure often enough, um, they've come through all that there with continuing pride and strength. And uh, here we have the party been returned again uh, for a Westminster seat just a few weeks after a very tough election campaign with over 70% of the poll. Tremendous achievement for, for both Paul, but for the party in general. And I think it's a great uh, credit to people in West Belfast that they still believe very, very firmly that Sinn Féin is a party to deliver for them and the party worth their uh, commitment. How are you going to be able to trump that as a birthday present? Well, he's already been given, uh, I think Stu gave him what we would have called in the New Lord's Road a sore head, which is a bun um, with four candles on it. So I said to Paul, he'd think well of it because he might get a slightly bigger cake tomorrow, I don't know, but there's probably not be that many more candles on it. Alex, <laughs> 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 Okay, go on, Maggot.
Paul Maskey, MP for West Belfast. Congratulations. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm delighted. I'm delighted that the, the people of West Belfast have chosen myself. Um, they know that I'm an Irish Republican and they know that I won't be actually going to Westminster to swear an oath of allegiance to the British Queen. And they have endorsed the Sinn Féin policy on that issue. And I am delighted to be representing them people at every single level. A very proud moment indeed. Uh, you mentioned the issue of abstentionism and that you won't be indeed abstentionist from West Belfast. Um, what do you see as the main issues facing you in the current term? Well, there's, there's many issues, but I want to be making sure that I'm working for every single person right across the west of the city. I have offered my hand of friendship out to all the different political parties who stood in this by-election and that's something that I will be chasing up from tomorrow morning onwards because that's exactly what I want to be doing, working with them all and I'm very sincere when I offer that. Despite the election fatigue, over 70% of the electorate of West Belfast voted for you. You must surely be very happy with that. Oh, I am, and over the, the recent months we've been out on a hard slog, um, very hard campaigns, um, election campaigns, where even in the last assembly election we had 66% of the turnout of the vote. We've now increased that up to over 70. I'm delighted that the people of West Belfast have endorsed Sinn Féin, and they know that we are the true representatives, and they know that we will work every single day and for them and I think that the people of, of West Belfast have to be commended for that.